Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about five minutes, so I will pause the recording software for now, and I will be back when I see a potential opportunity. All right, have an order out there for a put at 39.50. So we'll see if I can get filled. So if that changes, that white order down there changes to green, that means I've been filled. All right, I'll keep a close eye on it. And if it looks like I'm going to get it, well, I'll keep it going. I'm watching that number right there. I want to see that go down to 39.50 and then drop slightly below it. That would mean that I get filled. There we go. So I'm in at 39.50 and out right there for a very fast $50 move. Let's now try 39. Let's try 38.50 instead. Let me double check. Yeah, I like that. 38. 38.20. I'm glad I hesitated. A lot of strength right now. So I'm going to let this thing potentially chill out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, starting off with the $50 move. So I will, uh, I'll take that and I will pause and keep an eye on things. Have an order at $39.50 here for a call. I'm going to go to $39 now. See if we can come down just a bit more. I'm going to go to 38.50. In at 39.50. Or I'm in at 30, yeah, in at 39. I'm sorry, in at 38.50, trying to get out at 39. And out there for another $50. Try again at 34.50. Just double checking. Yep, 34.50 looks good. Let's see if this thing wants to continue to. I would have thought it would have paused a little bit around that yellow line right there. It didn't. It is now returning to it, which isn't, which is why I was completely comfortable just thinking I could still get that bounce back up to give me that $50 move. And in hindsight, I could have gotten away more from it, but that is also hindsight. But I like the odds that it would at least come up enough to give me that $50. All right. I will go ahead. I don't know. Do I try to play it again if it comes back down? Is this maybe I try 38.50 again? Maybe try 37.50 here. Uh, what is that low? 40. I'm going to try it 37.20 here. 3720. All right, never mind on that with the new formation of starting the new candle. Okay, I will pause. Okay, I have an order at 3670 here. Did not get filled. Try 3650. All right, I will go ahead and pause. All right, have an order at 3450, and I got that. And out for another fast $50 move. Very good. 
So this morning has just been me picking up $50 bills and I'm okay with that. I'm more than okay with that. I should have noted a long time ago, I'm doing options trading here. So I hope, I hope you're still watching. Um, but options trading um, is something that I know can be, uh, have a complicated reputation and they can be made very complicated, but they don't have to be made. Um, and I approach them in a very straightforward, very um, simple way. And if that's how you like to approach things, then I put together a free class called the Big Basics of Options. If you are interested in that online guide, uh, just put a link down below, put guide or options, please. And I will link you to it. I'm totally free and I'll walk through the terminologies and all that. Uh, so for example, uh, I know this price here, just I'll, I'll change again. So watch this price over here and I'm just gonna, it's just gonna change. What I'm doing is changing strike prices. Now I realize that may mean nothing to you, but that's what the guide is all about. It'll talk about strike prices and you know what's going on here. And options are great if you have a smaller account, that's not necessarily why I'm using them. Uh, but if you do have a smaller account, options can be a really beneficial for that with uh, the way they're made up and the way uh, they work and kind of how they're constructed. But like I said, if, if you just want the, the basics and how to approach them in a very basic way, then just comment down below. But yeah, what you are witnessing here is called options trading. And um, yes, I do stock trading too, but I always say I do chart trading because this right here is the chart because when you use a chart, this could be a stock, that could be an option, that could be Forex, that could be futures, that could be a crypto, it could be anything because the chart is just a chart. But in this situation, I'm using them for options. All right, I will pause, but so far so good. I have an order at 45.50 here for a call. So it got close for a second. Probably need to come right down close to that 496 mark. Okay, in at 45.50 for that call. and out for another $50, very good. I will go ahead and, did I even hit record? I did, so I'll go ahead and pause. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. We're for, it's 10, 14 a.m., 45 minutes in, um, $200 in my pocket, although with commissions, eh, we'll call it 190-ish, 190-ish. So 190 in 45 minutes, that's not a terrible, uh, terrible pay rate. But this is some good action. So the more I think about it, you know what, I'm gonna give myself another 15 minutes because another 15 minutes, I still only have one hour into it. So I'm, I'm gonna take that risk. I'll risk another 15 minutes of my time to see if I can get uh, a bit more uh, in my pocket. So like I said, never mind. I'm Now that I think about it, now that I look at the time, now that I think about my schedule, um, I only have a couple of kids home right now. Um, I have six kids total, but a lot of them are out right now doing some errands, so, and they're doing schoolwork anyways. So that's just my long way of saying me thinking out loud. It's not like I have anything really else going on, but I also don't feel like being here, glued here for, for that long today. But yeah, another 15 minutes. This is some, some good uh, solid action. So I'll give it another 15 minutes, see if I can find something else. I will go ahead and pause. All right, well, I just got my answer. It is now 10, 17, so two minutes later. And I mean, just great timing. My one daughter came in, asked if I wanted to go play a board game with her right now. She's done with her schoolwork. And how am I gonna turn down a board game with my daughter? I mean, come on now, I'm not a, I'm not a greedy savage. So that, those are the priceless moments. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it good. So yeah, we'll, we'll just call it $200 in about 45 minutes. Um, and I am uh, very pleased with that, especially when uh, you ha I have many other streams of income. I realize that might not sound like a lot relative to social media and what you see there, uh, but that's uh, kind of the, almost the fantasy world of social media. In the real world, my goal is freedom of time to be able to go and do exactly what I'm about to do. Go play a board game with my daughter right now because uh, I work from home. Uh, we homeschool and uh, if they're done with their schoolwork, then I'm going to go. I'm going to do that. That's why I do this. Now, if you're doing this because you want the private jet, cool, go for it. But at my stage and where I'm at in life, I want the freedom of time. And this is just one of many streams of income. So yes, maybe not Lamborghini type profits, but for 45 minutes worth of my time, I will take $200 in my pocket. But that's that's just my personal opinion. Maybe it wouldn't be worth your time. But for me and my goals, and given the context of my other streams of income, I am a very happy with it. So yes, if you enjoy these live trade videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below, but I'm off to play a board game. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, 
whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.